in that fight. Oh, you know what? He gave away the first four rounds. That's what happened. Then he tried to catch up. And that kid, if I'm not mistaken, he's an Olympic gold medalist. He's been fighting on an international basis regularly. So he, he can fight. He had never been past six rounds before. Do you think maybe taking the first rounds off was him trying to conserve energy for the later rounds where he figured he'd knock him out? Well, it played in his mind. It showed. It played on. You know what I'm saying? If I can go to the distance. You know what I'm saying? Evidently, he gave away too many rounds. Yeah. His father's a very controversial figure. You know, he's one of those guys that you kind of love him or you hate him. A lot of people hate him. Um, what do you think of him, the way he works with his son? Does that put maybe extra pressure on him because he's such a polarizing figure? Well, you know what it is? It's hard for a father and son to match in the fight world. You know what I'm saying? When you have a, when you're a fighter, you don't get your son to fight the way you used to fight. Whatever your son brings to the table, you elevate his skill level. You don't have him fight like you. No good. There's only one Chris Eubank Sr. So don't try to have your son fight like you used to fight. Do you think he's a... Uh not good. Does he belong in the corner? A lot of you know they're questioning whether or not he belongs in the corner, or whether they should turn it over more to professional people. Well, he, he belongs in the corner, but but not as far as being a head trainer. Right. Uh, you're you're a head trainer. Well, would you? How would you deal with that situation? Or would you deal with it? If the father wanted to take a second seat, I wouldn't deal with it at all. Um, just and then going forward, I mean, you know, a lot of hype around him, but you know, people were saying that, you know, he hadn't fought anybody. Do you think the talent's there? Is he going to overcome this and go on and become a great fighter? Or where do you, from what you've seen, how do you think he's going to pan out? I think Chris, right now, is on the verge of becoming a great fighter. When he was in the states, he had Mike McCallum training. Mike McCallum is a good trainer. You know what I'm saying? So I thought that if he would have stuck with Mike, he'd have showed more discipline in the ring the other night. All right, man, appreciate it. You got it, buddy.